Um, hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Good afternoon and welcome to the virtual college webinar. Um, just a reminder for some housekeeping items, your camera and microphone for today's session are going to be turned off, but you do have the Q&A available so you can ask any questions. And this recording will also be available after today on the PACAC website. So at this time, I will let our panelists take it away. All right, thank you. Um, hello everyone, my name is Maria Tinoco. I'm an admissions counselor here at the Pitzer University. Um, and so thank you so much for um, joining me today. And I am going to talk to you um, about Kutztown University and the different things that we have to offer here as a four-year institution. Um, we are um, able to, and, and please feel free to send uh, me a message through the chat feature here. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions um, as we go through the presentation um, and some of the topics that I'm going to be discussing. So um, first, um, a couple of things in terms of submitting an application. We are currently reviewing applications um, for all students, um, all majors, and um, we are also encouraging students to sign up to um, be in contact with us a, as a university. We are right now um, using a lot of different ways, uh, innovative ways to get in contact with you as a student. And so um, we're using texting, we're using emails, um, we're also using Instagram um, platforms. So please make sure that you are signing up and sharing that information with us. One of the things that I can um, share with you in terms of a texting campaign that we are hosting, we are basically asking students to share their high school GPA and their potential scores if they were able to sit for an exam um, that being an SAT or ACT, we are able to provide you with an estimated merit scholarship amount. So that can be anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars, and they are renewable scholarships. For um, students who are 3.7 uh, GPA or above, you definitely are looking at a very good um, package from four to $5,000, depending on where you land. Um, so that potentially is anywhere from 12 to $20,000 for your career here at Cutstown. Now, those are just um, a campaign and an example of what we are trying to do here to reach out to you, um, to just encourage you not only to apply, but really um, so that you have something to look forward to as you're filling out your paperwork um, and the FAFSA. So in terms of the application itself, um, you can apply during the Common App or you can apply through our Kutztown portal at apply.kutztown.edu. And so once you submit your application, all we will really require is, like I mentioned, your high school transcript because we are test optional. If you did sit for an exam, um, you are able to send those to us, I, you can do that. Um, we will use it as part of the review if you um, make them available to us, okay? We do not have a preference over the Common App or our portal. It's really just what makes it um, easier for you. In terms of the Kutztown application itself, we are not uh, requiring the letters of recommendations or the essay. That is just part of the Common App review, okay? All right. Um, now, as uh, we continue through, um, let me just talk a little bit about what Kutztown has to offer here. We do have majors um, that are available to, oh, I'm sorry, kind of, there we go. Let me share um, my screen here since I'm able to do that. I apologize. Okay. So you should be able to see um, our, my view book here and I'm going to speak on the different um, majors. So as you can see, Kutztown University has a variety of majors available to students. 
We do have um, College of Business, a College of Education. Um, I'm sorry, our College of Liberal Arts and um, Sciences is, is part of the business program is in that college. Um, and then we have the College of Visual and Performing Arts. And so as you can see here, um, the social work is um, a major that I always like to highlight as well as the computer science major. So with the social work, it is a, an accelerated program. So if students are interested in um, that program, they can get the four year bachelor degree as well as a um, additional year for a master's in social work. And the same is true for the computer science uh, majors. Also, another thing for computer science, we are providing students with a new scholarship. Um, it is the EMACS, or the Emerging uh, Math and Computer Science Scholars Scholarship. That is a $7,000 scholarship, again, renewable for students that are interested in majoring in IST, computer science, and mathematics. If a student is interested in minoring in game development or web development, that is also a qualifying minor for students to be reviewed for this scholarship. So that will take me to my next talking point, which is a minors program. Minors are a, way, a great way to customize your degree. It's a great way to make you stand out in terms of um, when you're gonna go for internships, when you're going for different jobs, um, it just gives you a different um, point to highlight. Um, for example, a student may wanna go into um, a major in cinema, television and media production, and they may then pick up a minor in creative writing or performance and storytelling. And so that really just highlights more of additional skills that students gonna have beyond that major. Okay, so moving on to the next. This is going to um, present me with the opportunity to speak about a lot of our students, not only alumni, but our students that were enrolled um, in different programs have the opportunity to study abroad. But also, as you can see, our, our Golden Bears are everywhere. They are able to take their degrees not only to the West Coast, either work in um, production companies or in Google, but they can also stay locally um, with the Lehigh Valley. Korea, real, real quick, sorry to interrupt. I, if you're sharing your screen, I don't think we can see it. Oh, really? I, hmm. Okay, let me just move this. It had the, um, I apologize, it had the green circle around it, so I thought you could see it. There we go. Okay. Oh, I apologize, everyone. So these are the, the list of majors I was speaking about. And you can see um, in the top, it has a vast number of majors, but then at the bottom, we have tons of minors. And really this is gonna be a way for students to, again, customize their knowledge, their passion, their experiences, so they can speak on it in the internships and also once they get into the job interviews. This is the screen um, or the slide I was talking about, study abroad, the different outcomes that our students, um, alumni have um, produced in terms of moving forward and putting their degree into practice. Um, a lot of our students, um, I'll talk about this a little bit later, have great reach and so they can stay local, make a lot of difference here in our local community, but also make a huge difference as they continue on to either the West Coast or if they stay um, in, the, in the East Coast, there are def definitely a lot of companies that are going to be interested in hiring our students. Really quick, three ways that a student can study abroad at Kutztown University is through one of the most traditional ways, which is study abroad for a semester. You pick, pick up a language, um, that's usually the traditional way, or you can just go um, to a country that specifically for education majors, 
As you can see, one of the minors was English as a second language. Um, you can definitely go to another country and put into practice um, skills that you've learned in the classroom. The second way is through professor research. And so if our professors are conducting the research in a specific country, they're going to talk about it in class, but also they're going to provide that opportunity for our students to also study and really put into practice what is being taught in the classroom. The third way and probably most simplest and least expensive way is one week um, during spring break. The student will study a condition or a challenge that a community is facing, and then they will um, provide solutions and be on the ground making those changes in that community. And um, for the most part, for study abroad during a spring break, you can fundraise to cover the cost for that experience. So I talked a little bit about majors and the outcomes of um, having those in-classroom experiences, but I really want to um, not discount those experiences outside of the classroom. As you um, look through this page, we have uh, various ways for students to get involved. Um, student involvement can mean um, being part of an organization as an active member or sitting in the executive board, um, making decisions for the club and the members of that organization. You're gonna learn skills that you're gonna be able to use in internship um, questioning or also job interview questions. So for example, they might ask you, you know, what's one of your weaknesses? What's one of your strengths? Um, share an experience where you had to maybe solve a conflict. And so you may not have those types of experiences in the classroom because you're being lectured or you're being stimulated in a different way. But in um, these outside of the classroom settings, this is where you're gonna build those skills. This is where you're going to be able to really work through some challenges so that you have great stories and great outcomes to share during those moments. Arts and lectures here at Kutztown um, are really, really um, something that we're proud of. Because of our robust College of Visual and Performing Arts, we have so many talented students. So not only for our campus events and the arts and culture series will we have celebrities, will we have well-known speakers and actors and writers, um, musicians, but it's a great platform for a lot of our talented students to also share a lot of the art and music that they have been working on throughout the semesters. So you will always find something here at Kutztown. Um, I always say that they're really cheap dates. You can go and hang out with some friends, but you can also meet new friends. Um, and so this really provides that environment for our students. Of course, we have Greek life here at Kutztown. Um, you can choose to be part of a service club, a social um, Greek life organization, or um, someone that really is, takes on academic excellence as part of their mission. So you have a vast number of different sororities and fraternities to look into if you're interested in that. Um, I've noticed more and more throughout the years that a lot of our high school students will have volunteer experience on their transcripts. And so that's great. We want you to continue doing that while you're on our college campus as well. And we can't forget about campus employment. We do have students who work here um, through work study, but we also have those jobs where a student doesn't need to be pre-approved through the FAFSA to work in our offices. The biggest example I can give is our campus tour guides. They are paid on our campus. They are an extension of our office and they do a lot for us. So we wanna make sure that they're compensated for their time. But beyond that, basically every office here may have student workers. Moving on to sports, we are division two athletics. So that means we're not gonna be as competitive as division one, but we will be competitive in terms of making sure we get to those championships. And so here you'll see a list of our men's. Um, we do have a larger list for women in terms of our sports. And one that is not there is a brand new one. It's tumbling in gymnastics is our new sport that we will be adding to our roster. 
Um, and so I definitely do have some students excited and ready to um, enroll and be active in that club. Also some tidbits here, we do have one major league baseball um, player that came out of Kutztown, as well as a World Series winner that came out of Kutztown, and we have five NFL football players, um, and one of course has made it to the Hall of Fame. He later came back and our stadium is named after him. So that was um, really exciting as part of Kutztown. One thing you don't see here is our intramural sports. You don't see our club sports. Um, we do have a robust list of um, club sports as well, one of them being rugby. We do have a lot of international students, uh, specifically from Northern Africa, who come and select our school based on um, how well our rugby team has been doing. And then they are, of course, active players in that organization. Um, so there's definitely a lot more that we have to offer that you don't see here. So I just wanted to point those out. Another great thing about Kutztown, and um, I was told that we are one of two institutions in the Northeast that has this 24 seven model of dining. So that means that you can have something to eat regardless of what time of day it is. Um, you may not think this is a big deal, but it really is. Um, I was at an institution previously uh, before Kutztown where the biggest complaint of some of my students were that they couldn't get a meal on the weekend before 10 o'clock because uh, the dining hall did not open until 10, 1030. And so we have students who wake up early. They're just in that routine. Some of our students may go to work on the weekend. So that morning breakfast is really important before they hit their shift. And so we here at Kutztown have acknowledged that because we are a 24 seven dining hall, we do provide students with an unlimited meal plan. Now, two things that aren't highlighted here is the fact that we do have Chick-fil-A, um, Starbucks on campus, as well as Subway off campus. And so you're able to use our what we call Bear Bucks. The Bear Bucks is there for students to use, um, not in the unlimited meals, but in those special um, specialized dining areas like Starbucks and Chick-fil-A. When you come um, to our South Dining Hall, which is the main hall in the south side of our campus where all the residence halls are located, we have a two-story dining hall. On the first floor, we have what's set up like a uh, food court in the mall. So you can just go to whichever one you would like. And then on the second floor, it's a buffet style setup. So if you want to hang out with your friends and everyone just go upstairs, you can do so. Or if you know you want to stay downstairs, everyone get something different, still hang out, you can do that as well. Um, our Student Recreation Center is something that is um, also a great spot here on our campus. It has your typical gym set up. It has a second floor for indoor track especially for those who want to stay active during the cold, cold weather, and they can continue doing that indoors. Um, we also have an indoor rock climbing wall, um, which is pretty cool. And in the women's um, locker room, I'm not sure about the males, but I'm pretty sure there's one in there as well. We do have hot tubs as well in our locker rooms. So we just want to make sure that our athletes are well taken care of, that our students that are active are well taken care of, we don't want you pulling something and getting her out there. So we definitely want to provide you not only with the necessary equipment, but also ways to relax and enjoy yourself and have fun. Another thing about Kutztown is, and quite frankly, I didn't say this earlier, but I'm a KU alum. Um, I have been in the higher ed world for 10 years now. I decided to come back to Kutztown. One of the things that was my favorite when I was a student here was the fact that we were in a downtown um, setting. So we definitely have a downtown community. Um, we are the university here can kind of sit on top of um, the main street. 
but it really is a community. Um, there's festivals that they put on. We are probably closer to um, German Dutch um, festivals and heritage is, is something that is um, highlighted here, but it's a great way for students to not only learn about themselves, but really about the history of the area that they're gonna be spending the next four years. I also want to point out that as a first year student, you are eligible to select from eight different residence halls. We do have them for students here. And so you would live on campus. And then as you go on to become an upperclassman, you then have suites, apartment style living that you can additionally select from if you decide to move on to those kind of living arrangements. So I talked a little bit about the application process as the, um, we began here, but just to cover it again, because we started off a little rocky here, we are rolling admissions. Um, but what my recommendation is, is that right now that you try to get your application in by December 1st. The reason why I say that is because that is when we're gonna start reviewing for our um, Board of Governors Scholarship, and that is a full ride scholarship. So that will begin December 1st, and we would really want students to have their application completed, as well as having the FAFSA on file, and then we can review you for that. I mentioned we are test optional, KU app, submit your transcripts, submit your app, you're good to go. The same thing for the Common App, except don't forget your letters of recommendation and your essay for that application portal. When you look at tuition here, we have a, an affordable cost, um, 11,000 for the year. And another thing here too, room and meal plans are approximately around 10,000 a year, okay? So that's gonna depend again, are you going to be in one of our uh, renovated, residence halls, um, or are you going to take a more of a modest room? Again, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I lived in Bonner Hall here. It's closest to the dining hall. Maybe that's what's important to you. And so that could be how you determine what residence halls you want to stay in. The meal plan is unlimited. If you want to add additional funds to your Bear Bucks account, you can do that as you go throughout the year. But the total really comes to approximately $21,700. And that is really a great affordable um, price for the education that you're getting. But not only the education, as well as the experience you're going to get here at Kutztown. I definitely know that my experience, it definitely is something that I always reminisce about. And still some of my friends um, my best friends are from Kutztown, and so it definitely was worth the cost for me to come here. Um, and you can compare it to state-related schools um, and private schools. That is where I worked before I came to Kutztown. I worked at a state school, uh, or state-related school, I should say. Um, and it was a great school, but I just, I missed the culture and the environment that Kutztown provided for me as a student. And so this is why I'm back. I want to make sure that students can tap into that and have more of knowledge on who we are as a university here. Other things I want to point out before um, I open up for questions is the state and countries represented. As you can see here, it's 75. So 35 states, um, students from all of those 35 states come to Kutztown to get an education, and we have approximately 40 countries represented here on our campus. So we as uh, counselors, we um, go to different high schools and we recruit mainly in Pennsylvania. We have counselors that go to New York, New Jersey. We just expanded to uh, Maryland and Washington, D.C., but that's about it. So I point this out and I say this to show you the value of a Kutztown degree. 34 other states are attracted and want to come here to Kutztown. 
without us actively seeking them to come to our school. So that really speaks to our alumni, it speaks to our faculty, to our programs, um, and I mentioned those 40 countries as well. So you will get a very diverse um, set of students, colleagues, faculty, staff that are working here on our campus. Outside of that, um, we are a medium-sized institution with 8,200 students approximately. And so um, you really can fit in, you can make a name for yourself, or you can just go to class, go home, um, do what you need to do, get that degree and graduate. Whatever you decide to do, know that you're gonna have those supports and resources here at Kutztown to be successful and to definitely graduate, which is ultimately all of our goals. Here is the website, like I mentioned before, kutztown.edu slash apply. And for all of you that are on um, joining me today, make sure you use the word golden and that will provide you with a fee waiver for your application. So it will cover your $35 application fee if you submit the word golden right um, before you, which is part of the payment option. The last thing I wanna say is I encourage you to join our KU Instagram page. It definitely provides students with updates. We do um, student takeovers. For example, yesterday we had a student from the Honors College talk about his experience and the application process and what to expect as you go through the honors program here at Kutztown. But also we do fun things like um, giveaways. So we will have a beanie hat giveaway coming up soon. Um, as the weather is getting cold, we wanna make sure you're snuggled and you aren't catching a cold. So we're going to be giving those away um, probably towards Thanksgiving, um, early December. So I encourage you to join. We also, as counselors, hop in once in a while just to let you uh, learn a little bit more about us and the territories that we cover here in Pennsylvania. All right, that is all I have for you guys. I am more than happy to answer your questions. Um, feel free to go ahead and put them in that chat. Um, also, this a QR code here, you are more than welcome to scan it with your camera phone, um, Android or iPhone. This will get you um, this view book that I presented out of, but also it's going to give you access to other publications um, that we would typically have out on the table during a college fair, or things like that. Um, so feel free to also um, scan that and then take a look for yourself.
Hey, Maria, you can just let me know then how long you want to hang out um, to see if you have any questions. Oh, you're on mute. You've been, you're on mute. Sorry, I don't see anyone placing a question in the uh, question and answer part. So I think I'm, I'm, I think we're pretty good. We, it looks like there's two attendees still on, but yep. Yeah, um, if they don't have any questions, I'm, I think we're, we're good to go. Okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. I apologize for the, the beginning. No, I, I think it was, uh, I don't know really what happened. <laughs> All right. Have a great rest of your day. All right. Thanks. You too. Thanks right. for joining us, everyone. Bye-bye.